Digital News presents Natural Disasters, Earthquakes. The Ring of Fire is home to 90% of the world's earthquakes. Hundreds were killed and more injured when two killer earthquakes hit Japan and Ecuador over the weekend. Despite occurring only 32 hours apart, experts believe the two are not related. The only commonality is that both are located in the seismically active Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a horseshoe-shaped arc around the Pacific Ocean that extends from South America all the way to New Zealand. At about 25,000 miles long, its most visible features are the volcanoes dotting the coast, roughly 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. Throughout history, cataclysmic eruptions have occurred in this area, so Johnny Cash was on spot when he sang that the Ring of Fire burns, burns, burns. 90% of the world's earthquakes also occur along the ring, caused by the sliding of tectonic plates, huge slabs of the Earth's crust. When plates slide horizontally past each other, some parts get stuck. Built up stress in those areas eventually cause the rock to break or slip and the plates to lurch forward, causing earthquakes. Plates that collide form convergent plate boundaries, which give rise to volcanoes through subduction. Those that pull apart form divergent boundaries, which become the site for seafloor spreading and rift valleys. A less powerful quake in Tonga also occurred Sunday. It too is believed to be unrelated to those in Ecuador and Japan. Despite this, an increase in global seismic activity in recent years is still cause for concern. NASA says that there's a very high chance a strong earthquake will shake LA. According to a study published in early October by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, there's a whopping 99.9% .9 chance that Los Angeles will experience a serious earthquake in the next two and a half years. Chances are high for a strong quake on or near two faults in Los Angeles County, the right lateral strike slip Whittier Fault and the Puente Hills Thrust Fault. The two faults are responsible for the March 28, 2014 La Habra quake, which hit a magnitude of 5.1 and caused considerable damage in the San Gabriel Valley. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory says the La Habra quake caused a surprising amount of damage to local homes and businesses. NASA geophysicists say that within 60 miles from the 2014 quake site, there is a 99% chance that an earthquake measuring 5.0 or greater will occur in the next three years. There's also a 35% chance that a 6.3 magnitude quake will occur in the same area in the same time frame. According to CBS Los Angeles, seismologists at the U.S. Geological Survey have questioned these high probabilities. However, it still looks like Los Angeles residents should start investing in earthquake kits and practicing their drills. Chinese Design Proposes Earthquake Safety Beds The 2008 Sichuan earthquake in China left more than 90,000 people either dead or missing. So, of course, it sparked a need to design more earthquake-proof buildings and sometimes furniture. One such design comes from Wang Wenxi, a man who designed a patent for his earthquake-proof bed design in 2010. He's been updating his designs and offers more than one type of bed for those wary of being caught sleeping and unaware during an earthquake. The bed resembles a cross between a panic room and a coffin. Some of the designs drop the sleeper directly inside the bed, which closes up like a box. There is space for owners to store food, water, and other supplies. Unfortunately, Wong's video and company don't offer any explanations for how rescue crews are supposed to locate the beds in collapsed buildings and don't show how the person inside is supposed to be able to get out. Other risks could also include caught or broken limbs if the person doesn't sleep within the outline parameters of the bed. There's also the question of what happens if a person is caught outside of the bed say, during the daytime, or perhaps just getting up to visit the toilet. It seems like a good idea at first glance, but clearly there are still a lot of details to be worked out. The price tag on these things probably isn't cheap either. So for those who can't afford earthquake-proof beds, it looks like we'll just have to stick to the traditional methods, such as hiding in a bathtub, under tables, or shielding your head with something soft like a pillow, and then running for the door as soon as possible. California earthquakes in the Salton Sea may awaken the big one. Southern California residents are on heightened alert for a major earthquake. More than 200 earthquakes detected in the Salton Sea last week have raised the chances of a much bigger earthquake hitting California this week. Experts are concerned this cluster of quakes may trigger a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault. In 2008, experts came up with a scenario dubbed the big one, where the San Andreas Fault would rupture. 
The ensuing 7.8 magnitude earthquake would claim 1,800 lives and injure 50,000 people. The Salton Sea quakes temporarily raised the chances of a major earthquake occurring on the San Andreas Fault to a maximum of 1%, 50 times higher than usual. The San Andreas hasn't ruptured in more than three centuries, and scientists say California is long overdue for a major quake. That being said, the chances of it happening most of the time are around 1 in 6,000. Cliffs collapse into sea in New Zealand earthquake. The Earth moved for these cliffs in New Zealand on Valentine's Day as a 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck. The cliffs collapsed into the South Pacific Ocean in several areas along coastlines surrounding the city of Christchurch yesterday. Footage shows huge clouds of dust rising into the air as parts of the cliffs retreated up to 5 meters or 16 feet. The epicenter of the earthquake was just 9 miles east of Christchurch, where a 2011 quake killed 185 people. This time, however, the city on New Zealand's South Island survived major damage, and no deaths were reported. But the cliffs weren't so lucky. No serious injuries were reported, but some climbers told media they were hit by falling rocks. New Zealand's seismological body Geonet said that there were more than 40 aftershocks. Authorities in Christchurch said the quake shocked residents, but the city was stronger than it was five years ago. At least 138 dead after powerful earthquake hit central Mexico. Tragedy and disaster have struck Mexico for the second time in less than two weeks. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake killed at least 138 people in central Mexico on Tuesday and left millions without power. According to the Los Angeles Times, 44 buildings collapsed and 30 people were killed in Mexico City. Soldiers, police officers and firefighters, as well as residents, are working to save people from damaged buildings. Earlier this month, an 8.1 magnitude earthquake killed 98 people in southern Mexico. Why a building in Tainan, Taiwan collapsed in an earthquake. Controversy has arisen after the discovery of cooking oil tin cans inside the pillars of the 17-story building in Tainan, Taiwan that collapsed after an earthquake on February 6th. However, experts say they may not have been responsible for the building's collapse. A 17-story building in southern Taiwan's Tainan City collapsed after a 6.4 magnitude earthquake occurred on February 6 in the separate city of Kaohsiung. The building had survived a 7.3 magnitude earthquake that took place previously on September 21, 1999 because the intensity of that tumbler was only a 4 compared to the 7 in the Kaohsiung earthquake. Experts say aluminum cans that were later found inside the walls of the building were used to enlarge the pillars without significantly increasing the weight, which was legal in Taiwan for buildings built before 1999. Steel rods inside the building were also found to be locked at 90-degree angles instead of 135-degree angles, which increased the risk of them becoming loose during an earthquake. The U-shaped building was built as nine connected blocks. Without a fourth wall to hold the ends of the U-shape, the building fell in the opposite direction during the quake. More than 72 hours have passed since the earthquake struck. More than 120 people are still missing, and the death toll has risen up to 40. March 11th marks the three-year anniversary of the magnitude 9.0 earthquake and tsunami that struck off the east coast of Tohoku, Japan. The earthquake was the most powerful ever known to have hit Japan, and the fifth most powerful in recorded history. Tsunami waves triggered by the Tembler reached heights of up to 40.5 meters and traveled up to 10 kilometers inland. It also moved Honshu, the main island of Japan, 2.4 meters east and shifted the earth on its axis by estimates of between 10 and 25 centimeters. Months after the quake, a Japanese National Police Agency report confirmed more than 15,000 people were killed and more than 6,000 were injured, with more than 2,000 people still unaccounted for. And, three years after the earthquake, life has still not quite returned to normal for many Japanese residents. Those whose homes were washed away or evacuated due to nuclear accidents caused by the earthquake and tsunami still reside in what were supposed to be temporary housing units. It was difficult for officials to put an exact figure on the monetary value lost in the natural disasters, but estimates put the figure in the millions or even billions of U.S. dollars worth of coastal structures and habitats destroyed. Indian Ocean Tsunami, 10 years later. It has been a decade since a massive earthquake in the Indian Ocean caused the world's deadliest tsunami. The 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami 
occurred when the Indian Plate subducted below the Burma Plate and triggered a 9.1 magnitude earthquake. The tsunami affected 14 countries, including India, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Maldives, Myanmar, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Bangladesh, South Africa, Madagascar, Kenya, Tanzania, and the Seychelles, killing about 230,000 people and injuring half a million. More than $15 billion in humanitarian aid was raised internationally to help affected areas rebuild. The Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System was constructed and put to use in 2006. Seafloor pressure sensors detect earthquakes and pass the information to a surface buoy, which transmits the data to a satellite and eventually to control centers on the ground. Ten deep ocean assessment and reporting buoys are deployed in the Indian Ocean. Regional tsunami service providers have been set up in Australia, India, and Indonesia to operate as tsunami advisories for the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System alerted the Indian islands of Andaman and Nicobar to the 2012 Banda Aceh 8.4 magnitude earthquake within eight minutes. Earthquake shakes Italian island. One person died and dozens more were wounded when an earthquake hit Italy. A 4.0 magnitude earthquake struck the island of Ischia off the coast of Naples, Italy on Monday evening. One woman was killed by falling masonry from a local church, while at least 25 others were wounded. The number of dead is expected to increase. Power cuts hit parts of the island after the quake, which was followed by 14 aftershocks. The seismic event comes a few days before the anniversary of an earthquake in central Italy that killed 299 people last year. Italy's geography makes it prone to seismic activity. The country is situated on the boundary between the African and Eurasian plates. Earthquakes can result whenever these plates collide. Earthquakes could triple in 2018. Scientists have predicted that 2018 could see up to three times as more earthquakes, but seismology experts are questioning the findings. The prediction warns that as the Earth's rotation slows, the number of earthquakes will increase. Researchers say the planet is currently in the fourth year of these five-year periodical slowdowns. University of Colorado researcher Dr. Roger Billum warns this could see a threefold increase in earthquakes next year, from six in 2017 to 20 in 2018. The researchers studied earthquakes of magnitude seven and higher since 1900 and found five instances of seismic increases. Most of the greater earthquakes occurred near the equator. Scientists suspect this may be because of small changes in the Earth's core, but exactly why earthquakes would respond to a slowing Earth is unknown. That being said, some scientists have questioned the findings. New Zealand seismology experts at the University of Otago said they don't support the findings and that the research shouldn't inspire panic. They called it another example of a fortuitous correlation between earthquake occurrence and an unrelated phenomenon.